I just want to share something about the blood. Before we started singing that amazing song, I've never heard it before. Absolutely just poleaxed me, if you know what I'm talking about. And <clears throat> I don't know whether you know this, but in 1907, the Pentecostal movement in this country started. And guess why? Because they were pleading the blood of Jesus up in Sunderland. And in what had happened, a Church of England vicar, <laughs> funny we're in a Church of England now, called Alexander Body, um, <clears throat> went over to Norway where the revival was break, uh, breaking it out and he met up with a Pastor Barrett who was a co-leader of the revival out there. And guess what? They were pleading the precious blood of Jesus and down was coming the Holy Spirit. How about that? And <clears throat> so it was just reinforcing the revival, so to speak, out there. And Pastor Body thought, what a good idea this is. We'll go back to Sunderland and start pleading the blood. Which they did. The six young men were pleading the precious blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit was falling. And <clears throat> it started to move all over Sunderland. Then the people from Kilsyth in Scotland got hold of this and they did it, were pleading the blood and down was coming the Holy Spirit there. And revival was breaking out in these two places. Then in Bournemouth, and a little old lady in, Sun, in London went to a Kil... <coughs> what do they call it? Kil Keswick. Keswick meeting in London and they were singing a hymn about the blood. And she said, how can you sing that song, that hymn, v so listlessly? I can hardly say the word. And then she broke out in other tongues as the Spirit gave utterance. And all of a sudden there were people on the floor screaming out to God for mercy. Everything was happening. And the blood was being exalted. And she had got the full baptism of the Holy Spirit through speaking in blood. And I just wonder what was going on here just now. That hymn, I've never ever heard it before. I'd love to have a copy of it if you have anything like that. It's just awesome. It's a precious, when we honor the precious blood of Jesus, as well as Jesus, of course, I think things are going to happen. And it happened back in 1907. And if you think about it, it was the same time as Azusa Street broke out in, in the United States in 1907. And I'm just wondering whether I believe that God is going to pour out his blessing on this earth one more time. Amen. If you, hear, you heard about Peter on the day of Pentecost said, in the last days I will pour out my spirit on some flesh? No. All flesh. All flesh. Now that does, what does that mean? It means all flesh. And I believe this is going to happen. And I believe in these times that we're in, we, Tisha and my, my wife and I believe that we're in the beginnings of the last days. And I think if anybody's really astute, I think they really agree with us. Because what's happening, <coughs> I won't go into details, but what is happening is in this country and in other countries all over the world, <clears throat> is things are beginning to happen. Governments are trying to control people more and more and more and more and more. And it's coming from the global elite. Anyway, that's enough of that. But I believe, and out of that, I believe the Antichrist will appear. I just wonder, I just, is it possible we could sing that, sing that hymn again? Is it possible? Are you sure? Oh, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, David.